mates, um, you probably can my brother and my mom. Don't mind them, though. I just wanted to give you a tour of my room. It's messy, like, all the time. It's about every time you know the room is, I think. So, I just wanted to give you a tour of his dresser. It's Sandy. Sandy for stuff. Sorry if I said that, like, I was eating soupies. So, it's Sandy. Um... The, I think this is my brother's Superman bobblehead, because, unfortunately, we have to share this room. So, um, it's not all mine. <laughs> um, this was when I was a stupid little kid. Um, I got, um, those costumes and stuff. Um, they had all new stuff in. Those wands you probably remember. Um, from my first video. My brother's T-ball trophy. Um... The Force Glove. Is it working on the phone? Is it working? I would. Um, I would. Um, put my put my phone down. Like I did. I did, but I just didn't want to drop it. My dad told me not to. So, and he's right. I shouldn't. Um, hey, here's just a quick thing of the room. Um, vlog part five. I don't know what to do in, like, any vlog. Blog. I don't play with these that much anymore. Um, did I show you this? I think I did. Um, and what's cool, um, Millennium Falcon that I got years back. Most of these things were actually years before I started the channel. So, um, yeah. So, the cool thing about this voice glove is if you take it off... And you pull out this. You can pull out this little magnet. And if you drop it down the glove, it goes to where it's supposed to be. It doesn't drop all the way down because it's a magnet. And I'm not trying to say any of you are stupid. Um, but, you know. <laughs> There's a broken apart, like, lightsaber that my brother probably broke apart. Just so I think I already showed you that. Um, my Bunk bed, which I hate so much. I mean, no offense to my grandparents who gave me that, but it's just, I don't like bunk beds in general. Um, just not anymore. They're cool for, like, little, little kids, but then when you get, like, I'm 10, as I, I think, mentioned in other videos, and a lot of you have probably seen the Assassin's Creed Liberation video. Um, well, I don't know. If some of the kids out there watch the, the channel and they're, like, not allowed to watch any, they're restricted from a lot of things, they're going to be restricted from a lot of my videos. Um, presentable liberation, I guess it's gonna be good. I don't know, because it's not scary or anything, to me at least. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, it's not scary to me, so, um, you might be able to, um, point to that. So, I just wanted to take this time... In this vlog, I don't know what to do in any vlogs about, um, well, um, let's do a top ten list, cause why not, those are fun, um, today I just want to say the actually top ten or five, I don't know, whichever one I can think of first, Games that are I just can't stand. Can't stand at all. And I'm not trying to copy anyone with this. Um, but I just, some games, I just can't really stand. Because even they have just such... It's not that I don't like great atmospheres. And, but, wait, let's change this up. There's games that I don't like, so I'll do that. Games that I just simply do not like. Um, for number 10, I'm just going to say 
the ca top 10 games that I love. I'm gonna say for number 10, Halo. I like Halo. It's a very good game. Um, I like it. Um, so, um, I haven't picked Halo 5 up yet. Um, probably going too soon. Um, next one is Mortal Kombat 9. Or Mortal Kombat, just in general. I love Mortal Kombat so much. I played the Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 9 is better than Mortal Kombat 1, I think. That's, this is number 9. Um, I like Freddy Krueger, um, probably the most. Just because he's really powerful and stuff. And, um, I don't know. And, um, number eight would be Injustice Gods Among Us. I'm gonna go with Doomsday and Ares. So, um, yeah, um, this was number eight, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, that's just, I like Injustice Gods Among Us. And, um, for number seven, I'm going to say I just really, really like Assassin's Creed, some of the Assassin's Creed games, um... I haven't played all of them yet, um, but Black Flag, I'm not a big fan of because I can't really free roam. I haven't figured out how to free roam, and I really don't like doing missions, like, at all. Um, some of you might be sitting there at home. Say, what? Um, yeah, I don't like missions. Um, so, that's me. If that's not you, then Okay. Number six, I think. Six. I'm going to just say it. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I love that game. I'm not going to tell anything about the game. Because I know some of you don't play it and simply aren't allowed to play it. I've played some of the games, but I don't really tend to... The last thing when I need to buy on mobile is... Vice City. Now, I played that game before, and I really don't want to buy it, considering I don't like it that much. One of the things is the game has to go have good graphics if you want me to buy a game. It has to look good. I want it to look good. I was only able to play Grand Theft Auto 3 for a limited amount of time. And then I realized I didn't like that, and, um... So I bought San Andreas, and, um, I was allowed to play that at that time, and, um, then I bought Chinatown, which was awful. Don't play that game. Don't do it. It's actually, if you want to start off with, like, a game that's not kid-friendly, per se, but less blood and stuff, then that one is the game to start with, Chinatown Boys. Um, did I say something else? No. No, Chinatown, that's what I was talking about. So I have 3D, and I have Chinatown, and I have San Andreas still on my phone, and I play it sometimes, and I love it. It is awesome. So that was 7, I think. 6, of course, would be probably Outlast. I love it. I've never played it, but I still love it. And a lot of you are probably saying, you haven't played the game yet. How do you love it? Because I've seen gameplays on it. So I just, I, I love it. I like it a lot. Um, I guess these are kind of the 10 games that are my favorite. And um, we're on 5 now. So a Fallout. Again, never played it, but love it. Looks good. Seems awesome. And, um... Yeah, I can't wait to play it someday, and, um, so, yeah. Four is Goat Simulator, of course. I love that game so much. <sighs> Two is Goat Z. Love it, too. Love it, love it, love it. Wait, am I on? I'm on three, right? Three! Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um... Yeah, and I love it, love it, love it. Um, two would of course be Goat MMO Simulator. Love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Now one, this is the final game and the last one, the biggest one. 
I really probably have another one that I will mention in the next video, but for now, it's Star Wars Battlefront. I played that game, actually, before, and I love it so much, so... That, I know I'm not really naming these vlogs anything, um... That is it for this one, um... I really... Didn't this was a longer video than I ex actually expected it? Most of them are um a little shorter, and I think we are on vlog number five. I think I'll check. Um, so um, as always, thumbs up, subscribe.